All right, all the bolts are removed. In total are 20 bolts. There is one thing I, uh, I left out, uh, this one over here. This is another one. So in total are 20 bolts holding this cover. So now I'm gonna get something to push the cover out and uh, that will be all to remove the cover. And finally, the rear gear train cover is out. It is right here, as you can see. Um, <laughs> this is the way it looks from the back, just like a regular cover. Um, just be careful whenever you are trying to pull it out because this is aluminum. Try not to pray hard on this because it's really hard to get it out because of the guys that are here. I'm gonna show you right now. These two guys over here, this one over here and this one over here, they're really tall as you can see. They stand out pretty far away. So be careful when you are praying the cover out because you can damage the aluminum housing. Um, so after knowing that everything is fine, we have here the gasket. This is the gasket all around and to the other side it doesn't connect to the head as you can see the head is completely separate that's right you are able to do it without removing anything the engine can be uh, installed over there and you can still be able to remove this one with no problems so um, to remove this one is pretty easy you just pull it just pull it out and uh, like this it will come out so um, I'm gonna remove it and then I'm just gonna clean a little the surface to install the new gasket and then I'm gonna get back to you. Maybe I'm gonna do a different video how to set the timing on these gears. There is no timing marks at all as you can see. No timing marks. Um, but. Uh, I will do something about it later. So as soon as I get the parts, I will continue making the video. All right, the gasket is completely out. All I have to do now is to clean it very well. So I can remove all whatever left of the gasket and the dirt and it's around. I want to make sure that there is nothing in between the gasket, the new gasket I'm going to install and this contact surface of the housing and the engine block. Okay, now the surface is clean, the engine block surface, and also the housing is clean. They both have to be clean. Make sure that any rust that is all over here, make sure to clean it really well. It has to be smooth in order to install the new gasket. The new gasket is right here. This is the part number. This is specific for DD15, for 16s and 13s, it's going to be different, so make sure to uh, double check that with your serial number or your big number so now i'm going to install the gasket there it's pretty easy all you have to do is align the guys stand out guys over here the with this one but before that i'm going to apply a layer of silicone on this surface and in the surface of the gasket on the other side that will prevent unwanted leaks that's something that you don't have to do if you don't want, but I recommend to do that because it will help you to prevent unwanted leaks once you have everything together. And remember, this is a hard to access part. You don't want leaks after you repair it. So make sure to install the gasket well. And if you want, that's optional. You don't have to, you can apply silicone. I will apply silicone, but if you don't want to, it's up to you. All right, I have silicone all over the two faces of the gasket. So that will guarantee that there will not be leaks on the area where I work on. Make sure then whenever you apply the silicone, don't apply it after the black seal. That's the seal. So just apply it on the metal surface of the gasket that will just keep the silicone on the other side instead coming to the interior of the engine 
So now I'm going to install the housing pretty easy. Just align these two stand out guys. Nothing complicated. So I'm gonna place it. Like the housing is on place. It's completely seated. As you can see. So I'm going to install all the bolts. Then I remove. As you remember, it's gonna be 20 bolts. They wanna be um, some of these 22 and some of the 58. So I'm gonna install all of them around the housing. Okay, um, all the bolts are in place, all ready to tie. It. Um, so we have to turn this ball, each ball, to a specifications. It is kind of weird to see the specification because I was checking the specification for this and some specification says 88 pounds for this and some specification say 140 for this, for the big ones. That's kind of weird. So uh, knowing for the size of this ball, 88 pounds will be a good torque for this ball. 140 40 is still a good torque for this ball because they're very big. They're uh, what 14 millimeters strong balls. So um, for this sm small ones over here, it's gonna be 25 pounds, and for these ones over here, it's gonna be 44. So I'm gonna tie all these to 44. These two. Uh, to 25 and the big ones um, I'm not sure what the specification follows so I want to tie them to 140 140 but I will see how it takes the torque because that can, it's kind of weird what's the torque then uh, it says you can look at it on any place I mean uh, you can go to the PSL or online try to see the specification for these bolts couple of them and it's gonna tell 88 and some of them is gonna tell uh, 144 that's kind of weird but anyway I'm gonna tie all of them and I'm gonna get back to you all right all the bolts are completely tight uh, by torquing all the bolts I noticed that these bolts are getting so tight when you give them the 144 then some of the specifications say so at the end I ended up giving them 90 pounds which is the normal for these bolts so um, I don't know why Detroit have two different specifications for two different bulletins but um, I'm not sure why anyway um, everything is completely tight secure silicone is completely out that means that everything is completely sealed and um, pretty much is all um, this gasket over here is good to replace it remember to replace this one there is two bolts replace this one it sometimes leaks for here and uh, if it doesn't just replace it for any reason it leaks so now I'm going to put everything back together and remove. Remember, then this is a demonstration how to do it if you have the engine inside the truck. Because over here seems easy. And the real job, it is nothing compared to this. Over here is so easy. So now I'm gonna put all the components that I remove. And um, starting for the lines and everything you remember i have the pipe on the side and everything so i just gonna put it the same way uh on the opposite uh way i mean like when i put the uh, star bar works so when i get everything back together i'm gonna get back to you and and with all the components on place the ones we remove to remove the cover the job is done now the transmission have to be back which is not easy, you know, it's very hard. As I said before at the beginning of the video, you wanna know how to do that, you can check the corner right here, it will be a video for that. Um, yeah, so this is the way you're gonna do the pre-recover gasket replacement. Seems easy because the engine is out, 
But in reality, you don't have to remove the engine. The engine gotta be inside, so you do this. Um, in this case, because I am doing a major job to the engine, that's why I'm doing it. But I'm showing you because I take the advantage of the situation at this moment because it's easier to show you here than just doing it underneath the vehicle, which is gonna be way harder. But I'm pretty sure if you do it, it's gonna be underneath the vehicle and um, you won't have that much fun. But actually the rear seal, the rear gasket doesn't go bad that often, but it happens. So when it happens, it will be a good, a really hard job. Now then you know, already watch this video, and uh, you know how hard it will be to remove this cover since you have to remove the transmission. Remember that you have to remove the transmission. There is no other way to replace that gasket. And you have to remove the clutch, you have to remove the flywheel, you have to remove all the components around the one I'll show you at the beginning of the video. So much stuff. But um, this will be all about this video. So, um, you got any questions about this video you can use the comment section below to leave questions or any recommendations or uh, suggestions or any doubts that you have with this video you can use that comment section to share opinions and everything else then you wanna talk about you wanna send support to my channel you can check the description in the below this video where I have details how to send support to my channel so I continue making helpful videos like this one I know this one is gonna be a good video for everybody but you know it won't be a common repair on the D15 so like share subscribe and thank you for watching